Good evening, folks. We're going to get some perspective on the weakening of Earth's magnetic field in this ongoing pole shift and add in the latest news on how the radiation bombardment is increasing. We know that Earth's field is increasingly weakening, faster and faster as the magnetic poles move faster and faster. During this shift, one of the most important things we can watch to gauge the progression is the ionosphere and the atmosphere. This morning we saw this paper, the detection of increasing radiation at aviation-relevant altitudes. So let's go back a bit to one year ago, the first report of the perturbation levels of the ionosphere, which have been sustained despite all expectations to the contrary in the scientific community. The solar activity has been lower for two straight solar cycles, it's more than two decades, and so the ionosphere should be less disrupted in general but it's not. And the reason is that the weaker magnetic field of Earth is giving the Sun a more and more direct shot at the electric layers in the upper atmosphere. This was confirmed months later, earlier this year, with an express look at the changes in the geomagnetic field, something that gets an A-plus in terms of whole picture perspective from the observers. We have seen persistently high UV radiation in Antarctica as well. This was also unexpected given the ozone recovery during recent years, and it's exactly the mechanism utilized to explain why so many species disappear during these geomagnetic events in the number one paper from 2019, found in the number one geophysics journal on Earth. Both directly and via ozone destruction by solar protons, the UV bombardment is expected to be one of the major issues as this event progresses. We have also seen an express detection of the particle penetration deepening into the atmosphere. This paper earlier this year showed an average of a few kilometers more penetration every year, but it was averaged over 120 years. It is not unreasonable to suggest that as the field has been accelerating its change, that this actually went from fractions of a kilometer 120 years ago to tens of kilometers deeper penetration per year more recently. So eventually, we would expect to see the radiation noticeably higher at aviation altitudes, and that's exactly what we have now. It's not yet at a deadly rate if you have one flight to make. It is more prominent at higher latitudes, over the South Atlantic anomaly, and during CME impact and geomagnetic storms. But it's one of the major things we have said to watch for years now. Yes, it is good that it's still progressing at a slow rate compared to a sudden catastrophe, but it's bad news for anyone with more than an ounce of patience or perspective. Things are continuing to get worse, and that's not going to stop until the full magnetic excursion and the new age of Earth arrives. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.